Don't forget your towel were the immortal words of one of my favourite science fiction authors. And you know what? They were right, because this towel is enabling me to get down low so I can capture a shot with lots of depth, but with a shallow depth of field, all with my smartphone. Now, towel down because the, the tide has gone out, enabling me to see this, this beach that's only visible for a, an hour or two a day. Now, what I've got in the foreground here are these stumps that you know, sh show that there was a, a pier here once upon a time into the river. That's of interest in the foreground, but way over there is a cathedral. Iconic as it is, I'm going to try and frame both of those up in my shot. So I've got myself nice down and low on my towel so I can get both this foreground and the background. There's a lot of depth to this shot. Just on the third line, always use the grid lines, I've got this iconic dome behind, but really it's what's in the foreground that I want to focus on. So even just tapping and holding there, that even with the smartphone camera is gonna be just enough to throw the skyline out of out of focus, but in a pleasing sort of way. Now, if I do tap and focus on the back then, we can take a look at this later on perhaps, you'll see just how much of a depth you can get. And again, one more time. And I just want to try and say create, using these stumps to create this leading line, nicely in focus, but taking us to something out of focus. It's kind of a, kind of a tease if you like. Now, because there's a lot of light and dark here today, I'm gonna to turn on HDR mode, high dynamic range. This tries to capture as much of the light tones and as much of the dark tones, often by taking multiple exposures. This might not have the effect that I, that I want. Sometimes you can have too much, too much dynamic range in a shot and it just starts to look a little bit unrealistic, really. So I'm just gonna try it and maybe just even get lower down perhaps. Let's try a few of these. All right, just remember to try and keep that on the right, separate from the left, lead my viewer's eyes across the image. And always make sure that we're horizontally aligned as well. Just keeping the other, other side there of the river on that top third as best as I can. Were it not such a, a wet surface, I might lie down on the floor. However, I'm not brave enough for that right now. But I think I've got a variety of shots there, slightly different framing with HDR on and off. Let's see which ones work. There are two reasons why this frame doesn't quite work for me. First of all, it feels a bit underexposed. I know it's a bit of a dreary day, but I could manually have just lifted it a little bit to make it look a little bit less dreary. However, the biggest sin really is the fact that it's not straight. There's a definite lean to the right hand side. Maybe I just wasn't concentrating on my, on my thirds line on the grid on the screen, but in any case, this is uncomfortable for more than one reason. This image is a demonstration of the kind of depth of field effect you can get. The cathedral on the far banks of the river is in pin sharp focus, which is, which is great, but the, the stumps leading my eyes towards it are out of focus. Now, on one sense that might be fine, but on the other, these stumps take up a good quarter of the image, yet they are out of focus. And while that might work for one effect, the effect that I was trying to get was where these stumps would be in focus and the cathedral out. So nice enough, but not quite what I was after. This frame is pretty much everything I wanted it to be. The stumps that take up so much space in the foreground are in pin sharp focus. I can see the, the textures, they're only revealed for a few hours a day after all, and I can see the moss and the lichen on there as clear as day. The cathedral on the far hand side is somewhat blown out of focus, which is exactly what I wanted. We all know what the cathedral looks like. I'm trying to tease the viewer. There's also little bits of life in there as well. We've got the boat going across and we've got the ducks 
interesting details but not enough to distract from the real journey that I'm wanting my viewer to go on with this image. Mm -hmm.